this is the presentation of our undergraduate degree in gastronomic sciences and cultures. And this is the last development of our undergraduate degree in gastronomic sciences, which was instituted when the University of Gastronomic Sciences uh, was born, was instituted, which was in 2004. And this is a, a three-year uh, degree. So uh, the academic offer is divided uh, in three years and each year is divided into semesters. Um, we are gonna talk about the academic year 2023-2024. Uh, and for that year, the maximum number of uh, students for the first year will be 104 students. As you probably know, uh, the main features of our, um, uh, of our university is that, uh, uh, the, that we are uh, a young university because it was instituted in 2004. We are an international university in the sense that there are students also at the uh, undergraduate degree coming from uh, all over the world, and that uh, we have uh, uh, we are a, a small community in the sense that uh, we have no more than uh, 400 to 500 students per year overly, globally. Uh, this is important because we have, uh, uh, thanks to this number, we have a strong, uh, strict relationship one with the other, students with students, uh, students with staff members, uh, and students with uh, um, uh, teachers and professor, uh, professors, I would say. Our academic offer has uh, uh, three main objectives. The first one is to provide an academic education with field experience through an interdisciplinary approach. That means uh, that the different courses uh, pertain to uh, three areas of knowledge, that of uh, hard sciences, that of human sciences, and that of social sciences. And at the same time that we have uh, um, not only the traditional didactic, but also uh, we, we try to develop uh, an academic ed education also with uh, uh, field experience especially through our study trips, but also through uh, laboratories and also other uh, experiences. Uh, and this is the second objective. The second objective is that uh, is we, one of our aims is to develop a cultural and sensory education, not only in classroom, but also in our uh, laboratories and also in contact with the protagonists uh, of the world of food. That means uh, that through um, their uh, career, students have the opportunity to meet uh, these protagonists uh, of the world of food, not only when they go on study trip, but also in Polenzo, in the sense that each week there are those protagonists of food which are, who are in general uh, personalities of uh, uh, not only university and academics, but also personalities of cultural and also uh, food operators and as experts in the, in the world of food and also in, in relation to the impact of the food production in terms of uh, uh, social, uh, environmental, uh, economic uh, and uh, cultural consequences of uh, the um, uh, production of food. And the, 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 
main aim is to form gastronomes. Students who have studied in Polenzo are gastronomes, and that means that they are not simply experts in the area of food, but uh, they are subjects who, uh, thanks to their uh, knowledge, the skills and the competences acquired in Polenzo, they are capable of influencing food systems especially towards sustainability on the one hand and food sovereignty on the other hand, and who have the goal of promoting quality food and its values. Here you can find some pictures related to our academic life. The first one is a study trip, while the second one is um, a meeting in a, uh, and a discussion in a classroom. As I said before, we have a small number of students, especially if compared with the other Italian universities. And for this reason, we have academic activities which uh, um, consider uh, each student uh, as a fundamental actor and participant uh, who has to interact in uh, building together our, our academic uh, um, uh, offer. The program of the undergraduate degree is structured in 20 courses, uh, 17 mandatory required courses and three elective courses. Uh, in total, uh, there are uh, 180 um, uh, credits, university credits. Uh, attendance is mandatory in the sense that we are a small community which uh, uh, interacts and which uh, um, uh, builds together our academic offer uh, day by day. This is the reason why the uh, attendance is mandatory. And at the same time, as we are an international community, we use two languages. On the one hand, we use English in the sense that gastronomes should use English because it is necessary to interact uh, within our community and also because in general food systems are uh, by definition transnational, so they cross the borders of uh, uh, the national, the different national systems, and at the same at the same time Italian, in the sense that uh, uh, that uh, international students are supposed to use the first year of their academic uh, undergraduate degree to learn Italian. Uh, for this reason, in the, in the first year, uh, courses are taught completely in English, while in the second and in the third year, they are taught primarily in Italian. And the starting date for the academic year 2023-2024 is September 2023. Uh, as I said before, we have a three-year uh, program, uh, and uh, each year is divided into semesters. And starting also from the first year, we can see uh, the interdisciplinarity of our academic offer in the sense that there are courses which pertain to the different areas of knowledge. Uh, food biodiversity, molecular and taste sciences, uh, economic policy and food sustainability, food anthropology, ecology of law, food microbiology demonstrate clearly that uh, also starting from the first year, this uh, uh, interdisciplinarity is evident. And at the same time, there is a first uh, elective course there is uh, one elective course per uh, year. Um, in the first year, uh, there are also um, uh, language courses. Uh, 
English language for Italian mother tongue uh, students, uh, Italian for international students. Exactly because each member of the community has to um, uh, improve uh, and to practice uh, uh, the uh, language skills. It is very important to know either to know uh, Italian and uh, English as well. In the second year, we are at the uh, heart of our academic offer, and there are courses regarding agroecosystems and sustainability, travel sciences, society and environments. A first uh, course uh, on, hist on food history. Uh, a course on sciences of food products, another on gastrono sciences of gastronomic design, and also a second course of food history in the modern and contemporary ages. And finally, also here, an elective course and other study trips. I'm going to talk about them um, uh, in the uh, following uh, the slides. Uh, at the third year, we find a course on philosophy and languages of gastronomy, global food governance, food business economics, uh, ethnobiology and food scouting, food and health, and also here an elective course and study trips. And we are at the third year, so during the third year, the students uh, uh, will also have the time to prepare their uh, thesis, their final thesis, and to discuss it also within the third year. Uh, there are elective courses in the sense that uh, in uh, each year, uh, there is one elective course which uh, uh, each student has to um, choose. Uh, here we have some examples, a complex approach to food activism, agrobiodiversity management, food packaging, foraging, foraging and, science, and sciences for the kitchen, sustainable novel foods, and so on. These are examples because the offer of elective courses uh, changes uh, year per year in the sense that gastronomic sciences are on a... Um, uh, in an overall evolution, and uh, uh, as a consequence, uh, also our courses, and especially our elective courses, are in a uh, continuous development. Uh, what are the points of strength of our um, model? First of all, uh, it is uh, an original education, uh, educational model in the sense that there are uh, courses pertaining to the different areas of knowledge. Uh, in the sense that the coursework covers the, all, the whole range of gastronomic sciences uh, through an interdisciplinary perspective. And at the same time, uh, uh, this goal is pursued through uh, the use of advanced uh, teaching tools, group works, presentations, uh, database use, uh, e-learning, social networks, and so on. And at the same time, uh, through seminars, uh, conferences, workshops, uh, and presentations, which are scheduled uh, each uh, week, I would say, um, uh, students have the opportunity to meet uh, leading food experts, the protagonists uh, of the world of food we uh, talked about uh, um, uh, in uh, uh, today. And at the same time, another point, uh, another point of strength, which is probably one of the main features of our academic offer, is that of study trips study trips which are thematic and regional study trips. There are 15 study trips for the three years of our undergraduate degree, which are the opportunity and the laboratory when, where uh, students uh, can, uh, uh, I would say, apply 
the knowledge, skills, and the competences that they have acquired um, in the uh, other part of our academic offer. Here we have different pictures regarding our university life. Uh, and another important element is about professional profiles. Here we have some uh, data about students who find work within a year after graduation uh, and students who keep on studying after the bachelor. Uh, and in general, we can say that uh, we have an academic uh, um, uh, career uh, center which uh, um, uh, makes uh, research in this regard. And in general, which also uh, um, help, I would say, students to um, um, uh, present themselves for uh, their um, uh, future professional uh, uh, activities. Um, there are four main professional profiles of uh, uh, gastronomes graduated in uh, um, our undergraduate degree. The first one is that of expert in communication promotion of high quality products such as brand ambassador, food journalist, uh, social media expert, uh, and also event organizer. Here uh, we have uh, some examples, that of Antonella Piscitello, which, uh, who works uh, at um, uh, craft beer uh, distributor. And another one is that of Marco Callegari, who works uh, in wine and spirits uh, distribution uh, Vellier. Uh, while our uh, second professional profile is that of trainer and educator in agri-food systems governance, uh, they um, uh, are active in cooperation and international relations in the public and private sector, uh, consultancies uh, and training focused uh, on food, especially related to migrations and intercultural topics for the public and private sector, and also agri-food researcher. And here we have some other examples, such as uh, Valentina Gritti, who works uh, at uh, the Slow Food Youth Network, and Tessa Jovernik, who is working at the, an association of organic uh, processors, wholesalers, and uh, uh, retailers. Uh, the third one is that of uh, purchasing and sales experts in the food sector especially food buyer, trading and commercial agent, and junior import and export manager. And also here we have some examples, that of Andrea San Giovanni, who works at Noberasco, which is one UNISG strategic uh, uh, partner. Uh, and another one who is uh, Luca Vaschetti, uh, who works uh, uh, currently at uh, Italy, as uh, um, a supplier management, uh, supply chain management, uh, uh, sales uh, trend monitoring, and so on. The fourth one is that of expert in food production, uh, hotellerie, restauration, uh, catering, and retail. Some examples are that of large and small scale distribution and retails manager, hospitality and restaurant manager, stock manager, organic food certification expert, chef and maître, and so on. Uh, one example is that of Juan Camilo Quintero Merchan, um, who is executive chef at Relais uh, in Chianti, uh, Borgo San Felice. Uh, and on the other hand, we have uh, Paola De Luca, who works on catering services for companies, Pedevilla, uh, in, and, he, and she's into restaurant management, uh, food and beverage standard development, uh, and so on. 
And finally, there are those gastronomes who uh, continue uh, in postgraduate studies, especially outside, outside uh, Italy in important master courses, such as that of uh, Wageningen University. This is the case of Matteo Rognoni. Uh, who uh, was master student in food quality. And it is also the case of Francesca Monticone, who um, uh, was inscribed in an important master in food policy uh, uh, in London. And uh, nowadays she is uh, um, a PhD student uh, at the University of uh, Bologna. Um, uh, here we have some other pictures about our uh, student academic life. Uh, I uh, want to say something before leaving the floor uh, to Elena Foggiotti. I am talking about the fact that we are in uh, uh, November. Uh, in May, you're going to have uh, the first uh, um, admission uh, um, uh, window. And in this regard, I would say that uh, I think that you can use uh, these months, uh, especially because I uh, take for granted that you are passionate uh, uh, about gastronomic sciences. What I suggest is that you can... Um, uh, read books, and you can uh, cultivate your passion in gastronomic sciences. Uh, you can, for example, see through our website uh, who are the, the authors and the writers who uh, have uh, 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 come to Polenzo. Uh, so you have a starting point uh, uh, of uh, some name of some authors uh, you can uh, you can read and uh, if you um, uh, uh, if you think that you need to improve uh, your english uh, you can use this month uh, to uh, to do it uh, this uh, can be important whether you decide to um, uh, apply for our university or also if you decide to take uh, other uh, different uh, uh, directions for your for your formation um, okay dr fogliotti the floor is yours buonasera Ciao. Um, thank you for your participation this is a very short overview concerning the admission process uh, all the admission process uh, will be will take place online, remotely. It will start about in, at the beginning of February uh, to 2023, and uh, it will end in the late August 2023. Uh, we have two admission sessions. The first one is from February to May, uh, and uh, after completing your admission uh, procedure, you will find uh, a provisional uh, ranking list. Please consider that from uh, 70, if you, gain, if you, if you got a, a score equal or uh, more than 75 uh, points, you are automatically admitted to the undergraduate degree course even in the first session. If you are under this score, you have the opportunity to take another admission test, uh, except for um, one step, uh, the dossier. I will explain uh, uh, more what is the dossier. And you will take the second and the third part of the admission process, but you can have another you have another opportunity for uh, to be admitted. Um, the second session is from May to August 2023. And um, uh, after that, uh, we will publish the final ranking list. 
uh, we have 104 places for uh, students, um, Italian and international candidates. Um, the academic year, the undergraduate program will start in the late September, probably in the, the, the beginning of the third week of September 2023. Um, for international uh, uh, candidates, all the procedure is online and it includes uh, a first step called the dossier, which is um, composed by some documents, some compulsory, other optional, um, to be uploaded uh, uh, on, the, on the university portal. Um, as I mentioned before, the application process will start in February. So if you go on the website now and you want to upload something, you cannot because of uh, uh, the deadlines. Um, I was mentioning uh, dossier is composed by some compulsory documents. Compulsory documents are motivational tests composed by uh, 20, uh, 25 questions. Uh, it, this is a um, writable uh, PDF document. You can find it on the uh, um, application process portal. And the second document, compulsory document, is a motivational letter, one, uh, one page uh, um, in which you can explain what are your expectations if you have uh, any projects for your future and um, what is the reason why you decided to start this uh, academic, uh, academic course, academic program. Uh, another compulsory document is the um, transcript, a full transcript of your uh, study career. Uh, after the admission, we will require a legalization document about your study career. But during the application process, this is not, uh, it is not a requirement. We, uh, it is enough if you upload a full transcript. This is the dossier. Other documents not compulsory are, for example, any certification concerning uh, I don't know, um, courses regarding the food, the gastronomy, wine tasting, oil tasting, food tasting, cookery, and so on, pastry, uh, or anything can um, complete your candidature. Um, this, this is the first part uh, called dossier. The second part of your admission test is composed by the English test. It is written and uh, oral. This is a written test composed by two questions. You have uh, uh, 60 minutes uh, for uh, completing both. Uh, so 30 minutes per each question. And uh, uh, after completing the written test, you will be contacted by our mother tongue uh, uh, professors in order to take uh, a short interview uh, in English, of course, uh, uh, even if you are in English mother tongue. Um, this is the uh, so-called English test. Um, after completing this second part, you will be uh, asked to um, take uh, the final interview uh, with uh, a commission composed by uh, two um, Italian professors. Members are... Um, Italian professors, but if you are not an Italian mother tongue, you can, of course, take the interview in English. Um, um, the minimum score, uh, as I mentioned before, for the first session is 75, but if you take the, the, the entire um, admission uh, test in the second session, this is not, there is any um, uh, compulsory score. You, you can be admitted uh, um, stating uh, uh, places, all the places available after the first session. Maybe we have 20, 30 places available. Uh, the important is that your score is not under 50 points. 
under 50 points, you are not admitted in any ranking list. Um, of course, uh, the requirement for assess uh, uh, the admission test is the possession of a secondary school diploma or equivalent. Um, I would like to say something about uh, uh, the cost, so the fee. The university fee for the current academic year and probably for the following one, so uh, 23, 24 academic year, is 15,500 euros. It includes um, all the educational activities, including lectures, tasting, seminars, the participation to uh, all the events uh, organized by Slow Food as um, Salone del Gusto and Terra Madre, Slow Fish, Cheese, uh, and so on. Um, um, all the expenses concerning your study trips, it means that you, you haven't to pay anything for uh, your flight, uh, your bus uh, or um, hotel meals, uh, it is all included in, in the fee you pay it before. Um, textbooks are included, so uh, even digital or paper materials are included in your, in your fees. Um, all the enrollment certifications, the supplement, diploma supplements, uh, transcripts, receipt of payments, international legalization are included in, in the fees. So if you come to the registrar's office and ask for certification, this is for free, or it is included in the, in the expenses uh, covered by, by the fees. Uh, for non-European students, we, have, we uh, offer, uh, we include in, in, as a service in the, in the fee, um, the uh, emergency health uh, coverage, plus uh, an agreement with a studio, uh, a medical studio in Bra called Sirio Medica, for your ordinary health matters. Um, insurance coverage for civil liability for students. Uh, this is uh, what uh, the fees include. What is not included is the cost of your accommodation. So you, you must look for um, an apartment by yourself. But we have uh, uh, social network pages, uh, a blog uh, in our, on our website and other opportunities to find easily an accommodation. Don't worry, Bra is cheap as a, as a small town. So um, costs for renting an apartment are, are low. Um, it is quite cheap. Mm. Something about uh, uh, scholarships. It is important to anticipate something, but more will be available on, more is available on the website uh, concerning uh, um, the current academic year, but the scholarship uh, uh, announcement is probably will not change. So if you, if you are curious, if you want to know more, I invite you to go on our web website, uh, unisg.it and uh, uh, look for um, undergraduate program, uh, financial ed and uh, scholarships. And you will find the scholarship account, um, announcement for the current academic year. You will find the requirements, you will find everything, the deadlines, uh, and so you can have an anticipation. Um, University of Gastronomic Sciences provides total or partial exemption from the payment of university fees and for European but also non-European students enrolled in the first year. It means that you make uh, uh, the request, um, so you apply for the announcement uh, during your admission phase. And if you uh, respect the requirements for the maintain, to maintain the scholarship, you can arrive at the end, you can have the scholarship uh, until the end of your uh, study program. So you apply for it at the first, before the first year and you continue to, you can maintain your scholarship in the second and 
in the term year. Um, to, when you apply for, uh, you have income and merit requirements that are necessary for requesting your university fee exemption. In, in a few words, um, to apply for the scholarship, you must respect some income requirements indicated on the announcement. But to, uh, to be awarded a scholarship, you must have requirement of merit. It means the score of your admission uh, process in uh, the University of Gastronomic Science. The minimum to apply is 75, which is the minimum to be admitted in the first session. <laughs> uh, so uh, 75 is the minimum, 100 is the maximum. So you, you must uh, uh, be, you must have a, a high and high um, score to be sure to, to get the scholarship. Um, university makes also a, a few number of places available in new NISG student housing for students coming from very low income countries. This is to specify. Uh, it is for um, scholarship students awarded a scholarship, but from uh, low low income countries, uh, and uh, there is um, a, an economic World Bank, a World Bank of Economics that states uh, states every year it, what are low income, low middle income, high income, and I must anticipate that. UNISG um, uh, house, um, Casa dello Studente housing is only for students from low, low income countries. We also have um, um, a loan um, that uh, is something different from the scholarship. You can apply both for the scholarship and for, uh, and for loan. And this is uh, um, Something that um, uh, the requirement is to be a resident in Italy. Even if you are not uh, an Italian citizen, you must reside in Italy. And this is a requirement to apply for the loan. So uh, if you are interested, you can uh, write me and I will forward you, I will forward your request to the administration office. I have a colleague called um, a colleague called Ricardo um, is, um, wor works about these this matter, is in charge of this matter. Um, I have finished and I am available for any, any question concerning application process or post or scholarship opportunities. Thank you very much for your attention.